if there's a single, if there's a single, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. But if, if there's a chance that there's a CWL admin watching this video, I'm telling you guys, look out for Los Colosos, an absolute monster clan giving us a run for our money over here in Fortune Steel. Um, a class act. These guys really played hard. They would be an absolute beautiful addition to Premier. Very, very competitive, fair play clan. What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a brand new video. And let me t let me start off, okay? Let me start off by saying, who the hell are Los Colosos? This clan right here, guys, this clan are absolute monsters. We had so much fun warring these guys. The most fun we've had in quite some time in Forge from Steel. For those of you wondering, this was our preseason or our preliminary provisional, whatever you want to call it, matchup. Um, getting the victory, the final, 101 to 100. A very narrow victory for Forge from Steel, a one-star victory. But this clan absolutely brought it. A huge shout out to them. Again, had a bunch of fun playing these guys. As you guys see on the screen right there, they did get an 11v11 three-star against brg um but yeah they had four what they had 11 11 triple they went one for one hitting at 100 percent uh they did have four 10 v 10 triples they had a few scouts they went perfect on their dips you want to talk about a competitive close war this was it guys uh but like i said uh, they did clear nines with nines they had a few scouts they um did have four 10 v10s but yeah huge shout out to them and again made it very competitive towards the end there going 100 percent on their dips we also had an 11 11 triple we'll check that out at the very end of the war a uh, huge shout out to cody and we had five 10 v10 triples so that was the difference in this war having one more 10 v10 three star uh, over los colosos uh but yeah uh we did we our, our nines did do a lot better than they had been doing in the past uh, but yeah, picking up five 10 v 10s We'll go ahead and show you guys, as we always do, we'll show you guys one, ten, uh, one Town Hall 9 uh, triple. This one coming from Quan. Uh, doing it with a classic, well, I guess what we can call classic, Tri-Zap Quake Dragon Attack. Uh, this attack was red hot for a very long time at the Town Hall 9 level. Well, dragons were hot for a while across all Town Hall levels. Uh, but th since the update, uh, we don't really see combos anymore. We do not see pretty much, unless you guys have one, I'd love to come to your clan and record it. Uh, we're not seeing dragon attacks at all uh, at, at the 10v10 level, but it will, and, or the town 9 level. But when I saw this one, a long winded way for me to say, uh, until I saw this dragon attack right here, uh, hadn't seen him for a while, so I'm glad that Quan showed us that dragons are still viable at the Town Hall 9 level. People are still using dragons. Huge shout to Quan. Um, but yeah, classic funnel, getting the zaps down, having the heroes walk down the side, getting good value from his queen, who is still up, has a very slim bar on her health, but she is up. She will last the remainder of the raid. Rage right there in the core. Baby Dragon has set the funnel on the other side, lolloing in. Uh, at about, what was that, at about 4.30, doing a nice uh, mini Lolo to take out the remaining air defenses. All kinds of dragons up, swagging king ability. Uh, beautiful attack from Quan on this one. Classic tri -zap quake, had to show you guys that one. But as always, now we'll go ahead and dive into our heavy hitter action. We're gonna start off with Clayton Bigsby, AKA Cody. Uh, he did absolute work uh, this war, you guys. Getting 10 10 10 three star getting an 11 v 11 three star as well but we will start off with his 10 v 10 uh gonna be doing a classic cb law uh cb law oh jesus uh classic cb uh hobo uh is gonna be bringing bowlers of his own does have hogs that will be coming out of the cc a little later in the raid uh and notice he also is gonna be peppering in a few valkyries for this attack 
uh, that is something that we are seeing a little bit more at the Town Hall 10 level is uh, using Valkyries for your kill squad. Even if it's just one, uh, Valkyries are a good addition to any kill squad. Uh, but yeah, so you'll see Wizards beating on the Town Hall. Once that goes down, uh, you will see he will deploy his bowlers. Uh, jump and a Rage leading everything in. Uh, and you'll see there is a damage CC. Uh, but right here, Queen is going to go ahead uh, and do some work as he does still have ability to use. And you'll see she's going to get there right there in the core. So here we go. Hogs uh, start off with a few of his own um, just to tank a few of these defenses. Then he went ahead and sent in his CC Hogs um, in behind. Bringing in some more Hogs over at 12 o'clock. Nice heal spell uh, capturing uh, those Hogs uh, in... Uh, getting damage uh, securing that damage from the archer tower and the expo and the second hill covering the cannon and the bomb tower right there uh, gonna get a nice split here getting getting that uh, hogs getting on that Tesla up there at the top and you'll see the third and final heal uh, over the, not only the bomb that was next to that Inferno Tower, the Wizard Tower, the Archer Tower, and it looks like he's going to kind of run out, but look, if you look closely at what's left, all he has is a couple cannons, uh, but he has a whole group of hogs down here. Those other two defenses are just ADs. Not going to do anything to a hog grade. A uh, huge shout out uh, to Cody, picking up a 10v10. Been doing very, very well. Uh, not only at uh, the Town Hall 10 level, but like I said, stay tuned at the very end. We'll be showing you guys uh, his 11v11 three-star. But we have to show you guys this awesome attack right here from Luke. Again, bringing Valkyries. This one, he's not bringing any bowlers to this kill squad. But check this out. This was a scouted base, so he did know that there was going to be a hound uh, coming out of the enemy clan castle so he went ahead and sued his queen not only did he get some key defenses taken out but completely set the funnel uh at the top side of the base so here we go king down also i forgot to mention no golems in this kill squad uh sending down king he had about seven if not eight valkyries that he went ahead and sent in jump and a rage to just do absolute work they're even going to get that bomb tower right there uh but valkyries did work on this base right here you guys uh sitting in hogs over here at about four o'clock followed by a heal spell uh where he does have a nice split where those hogs detonated that giant bomb between the expo and the tesla sending in some more hogs down here towards the bottom as there was an outside tesla uh hogs went ahead and took that out uh, has one more heal spell to deploy. There it goes, covering the Inferno Tower and both of uh, the remaining Archer Towers. Uh, but you'll see he did um, uh, he did have a nice split there. Only a couple defenses left. Even though he's ending on a bomb tower, uh, these hogs are at full health as they just left the heal spell. Uh, so just gonna just gonna do a little bit of damage to his hogs. But look at how much he has left. Got that cleanup down nice and early. Even with the Hound popping, had another nice split from his hogs as he went ahead and took out the CC and the Queen Altar right there in the core. Luke even getting a 10v10 six pack this war. Uh, but huge shout to him. Uh, just like Fuzz, this guy's averaging, it seems like he's averaging a 10v10 every single war. Uh, but huge shout to Luke. Love uh, just the Vaho. Uh, I guess we could just call that one a Vaho. All right, next up we have Rock, another guy who has been as solid as a damn Rock. You guys have seen him a bunch, uh, already featured on the channel. This dude, I'm telling you guys, this guy right here, his funnels, he he has got to have some of the most badass funnels that I have seen in this game. And I have seen a lot of attacks. Baby Dragon on the Town Hall went ahead and took that out. That was funneling for the Queen. He's got a few wizards and a couple minions funneling over here at the 9 o'clock quadrant. I will pan down uh, once we see this Queen do absolute work. Already took out a couple Teslas. She's going to go ahead and get the Wizard Tower. Go ahead and grab the other uh, Tesla up there at the top. Here we go. Baby Dragon is going to be tanking not only the Wizard Tower, tanking the Archer Tower, hasting in some loons. Look at this split he gets right here. Uh, those loons are definitely going to get the Archer Tower. They're even going to get that cannon taken care of. Uh, While well, he has a golem heading into the base, and you'll see he brought about five to six bowlers of his own. 
jump rage as we're seeing very very common on kill squads now uh, jump rage right there into the core he's gonna take out these expos uh, and just got incredible value from that kill squad look what's left in this base guys hogs coming in at 11 o'clock and he also has another group to meet up with them that came down from 12 here comes the CC hogs they're gonna be targeting the mortar at 230 and this whole group whoops uh, this whole group is gonna meet up in they're gonna be sharing this heal uh, that is covering that bomb tower right there and we'll see he only has uh, the inferno tower and the archer tower and the cannon down there at six o'clock uh, that just escaped the clutches of his kill squad but this was pure domination uh, on this base rock taking on uh real from los colosos uh, but I'm telling you guys, that funnel, watch that again, that funnel right there was so badass. This guy will find any way to funnel into your base. Absolutely loved it. The baby dragon uh, taking for the balloons, the wizards, the minions. Uh, very, very nice attack from him. Uh, now we're going to be showing you guys that 11v11 three-star I've been talking about uh, so far in this recap. Uh, we're going to have Rudy uh, doing the attack that we're seeing that's very, very common right now, not only against the anti-2 layouts, we've seen it a lot featured on the channel, um, but also working against anti-3 layouts. This one is anti-2 though, uh, but Queen over here uh, starting at 3 o'clock, she's going to round the bend. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know, I think he wanted his Queen to walk up. I'm not 100% sure, but the placement of that baby dragon made it seem like he wanted her queen uh, to walk up. Uh, but regardless, he's going to get even more value. Uh, again, I'm not sure if this was uh, the intention. Cody, let me know uh, down in the comment section below. Uh, we do have witches and bowlers uh, coming down uh, at 6 o'clock. That's going to be meeting up. Look at how many bowlers are going to be walking into this base. Jump spell leading everything into the core. Uh, he does still have two more rages to deploy. Beautiful. Check out that Grand Warren ability. Uh, not only making the troops invincible for what is that, five or six seconds, but those troops even being under rage. Uh, got incredible value from the Grand Warren ability, touching every last troop as they were heading into that first Inferno Tower. Here goes uh, his, his uh, what was that, third and final rage. And you'll see right here, Queen is still up, Grand Warden doing absolutely nothing, uh, just wandering around like a madman. Uh, but you'll see right here, these bowlers down here getting good value from the rock skips. This base guy, it is completely done. It's gonna end in a minute. We'll go ahead and times. It still has Queen ability. And other than trash, if you look closely, the only defense really left that's gonna do anything is the Tesla. Uh, but dude has so many troops still left up. Even has a couple archers uh, just for good measure. Uh, but we will go ahead and times this. Um, man, answering back, they had 11 11 three star. We had to get that 11 11 three star. Uh, Cody getting it done. Uh, so huge shout out to him. Big war uh, for Cody against Los Colosos. We did lose our first preliminary war or the, uh, the preseason war. So this was a must win for FFS or we'd be, we'd be ranked 32 out of 32 uh, in Premier. So this was a must win. Um, yeah, we will show you guys one more attack. And the answer is yes, 10 v 11 is still semi a thing. Uh, 11 still not even really knowing what to build. Are they, are, are, are they supposed to build anti two? Are they supposed to build anti three layouts? Your guess is as good as mine, but this one was uh, anti two layout. Uh, Gotti said, you know what? I have an awesome plan for this one. Um, and that is exactly what we're going to be bringing you guys. Uh, so right here, Queen starting over here at 9 o'clock. She will be walking down similar to the attack that we're seeing uh, at the 11 v 11 level. Um, the Queen Walk Bitch, some people calling it, was it Queen Walk Vomit, something like that. Uh, but Gotti's going to be bringing that to the 10 v 11 game. Uh, Queen going to be meeting up with his kill squad. Does have a golem tanking that wizard tower. Jump spell leading all the troops in. Look at all the bowlers that he has heading in. Hang on to a couple baby dragons that he will be using 4% a little later in the raid. Uh, but yeah, you'll see has a nice leading rage. Sending all those troops down the side. Setting that funnel. Uh, there was a, a hound that came out of the CC. Queen went ahead and took care of it. Uh, also went ahead and dropped 
helped the baby dragon to help uh, with that hound. Uh, you'll see, look at the rock skips. The rock skips almost taking out that inferno tower. Uh, but you'll see right here, if you look closely, the town hall is in range for the queen. Uh, he doesn't have a build anymore, but he does still have one more rage. And you'll see he's already going to be securing that first star right about now. There it goes. So that's 52% uh, where he's at right now. And you'll see right here, uh, this is making the update or uh, post update attack. Uh, is making this attack possible as you see with the healers under rage even though the queen is getting damaged is taking damage from a couple of the point defenses plus the inferno tower beam she goes ahead and beats through that town hall uh, and that inferno tower is actually out of range uh, of the archer queen but it's not going to matter look at the percent guys a solid 64 percent for my main man Gotti, uh, and we had quite a few uh, 10 to 11 attacks. That was the highest percentage though. So I definitely want to get that one out to you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm telling you guys this uh, huge, again, huge shout out to Los Colosos. Love all you guys. I don't know a single one of you, uh, but I love you guys. You guys gave us an awesome war and that is what it is all about. Yes, Seabass, I am around. Uh, just give me, <laughs> just give me a quick second. Uh, we are in the middle of a video. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Okay, now this. Okay, this is just getting a little weird, Seabass. You, you just need to relax a little bit. This is getting a little weird. Um, but that's gonna have to do. That's gonna have to do it for the video. I gotta get back to Seabass. I gotta find out what he wants. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy the video as much as I did. Huge shout to all you guys. Huge shout to everyone in Los Closos. Huge shout to everyone Fortune Steel for getting the one star victory. If you like the video, make sure you like it. Uh, comments, questions, or concerns down in the comments section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.